Oh. I didn't see you guys there. How's it going for you guys tonight? What is that? Is this nigga serious? Don't no, don't mind me. I try I try doing something stupid, but this intro is already stupid enough. So let's just get started with the video. Man, if you don't sit your goddamn fuck last. How's it going, you guys? I hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed night, evening, morning, whatever, whatever time you guys are watching this. My name is Makai Kai, or you can call me Mickey Mars. And it's time to finally show my my gaming setup after a whole year. Now I looked at my last video that I put out the gaming setup tour and wow I was really on a budget and that was a whole year ago which is really crazy flashback but yeah this is what the setup looks like Pause! what is that <laughs> I'm almost at 7,000 subs so I'm like you know what it's been a year so let's just show how my you know showcase look like so before I start this video I'm gonna be recording on this oh, that's hot. my iPhone 13 Pro Max I'm gonna try to record it on the microphone too but I don't I don't think it's gonna sound right so I'm gonna just do it both so I'm record my audio on here and here see how it sounds like and if this sounds trash then you're just gonna be hearing the 13 microphone I just appreciate a like that's all I want for this gaming setup video right here I appreciate a like let's just try to get 30 I appreciate that and let's just get started with a tour oh shit I almost broke my TV <laughs> this thing is trash you guys, oh my god. I'm literally crying because this is my seventh, fourth, fifth, I don't know, attempt of trying to record this goddamn setup. I, cause as you know, I'm not using this camera to record because the audio sounds like crap and my microphone's gonna be too far away to record right here and use the camera. So I'm using my iPhone 13 Pro Max. But I realized that every time I was finally editing it, I'm like, this is the iPhone 13. Why does it look so blurry? And that's because I was putting it on this instead of just leaving it on one. Now I had it, I don't know why I had it on 0.5, I was just trying to make it look cooler because as you can see, it looks like so zoomed in, but whatever, is this gonna make a good quality? Which I hope. Let's just get started into the video. So if you're wondering why it's sunny, it's because I'm doing this in the daytime instead of night. That would probably make the quality a little bit better, but let's get to it. So I'm gonna start from left to right, top, bottom whatever and we're gonna start off with my webcam now this is the beautiful webcam that you see <laughs> look like i was stroking that shit Bruh. this is the beautiful webcam that you guys see when i do the outlast and the new minecraft series that i'm doing with the brody canon eos rebel t2i it's an old 2014 2015 camera i forgot what year got a separate lens camera lens 18 to 55 milliliters this is the exact measurements that you need if you want to have a webcam for the games that you want to do and then yeah pretty simple cheap well, it's cheap now, but it was like around eight hundred dollars when I when I first got it. Next webcam right here, it is the Emeet HD 1080p camera. It is sixty frames per second. You just gotta make sure you change it on the settings when you connect it to the PC or laptop or whatever, and then you know just edit how it looks like on whatever you know Streamlabs or whatever they use it for. It is the Emeet Amazon. It was cheap simple don't get no expensive logitech camera because this is going to be the best unless you want to use your webcam camera because i don't use this for streaming unless i really want to which i could and i did it a couple times but this is perfect for me when i need to stream and it's less stress-free because you know these run on batteries and these batteries be you know dying after an hour and a half next things are my monitors now these monitors are nothing too special they're just budget monitors because i got these monitors when i was starting youtube and as you know your boy was a broke well i wasn't that broke but like since i was just starting youtube i'm like there's no need to spend hundreds of dollars on shit that might be a 50 percent chance 25 percent chance of blowing up but that 25 20 50 whatever percent chance made me blow up and i appreciate that Thank you for letting me blow up on YouTube. Let's see if I will <laughs> drop, what is that word called? Whatever, like fell off. Yeah, I hope I don't fall off. I hope. But yeah, these monitors is a Spectre and Acer monitor. 
Worst regret was that I got two different brand monitors because this was my first monitor. I had this for like six months because I was just playing Call of Duty by myself. And I was like, let's do some YouTube stuff. So I got a second monitor, but I like, let's get a better one. And like, I don't know, bro, I was just stupid. But this Acer monitor is a 75 Hertz uh, 1080p. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know how many inches it is. It's between 22 to 24. Same thing with this, this is between 22, 24. The only thing I made sure that these things were the same was that it was the same length and width and whatever. But this is a budget monitor, $100. This is like 110. These are perfect monitors for me. And yeah, this is just kind of like, no, actually it's because I'm using a different, you know, I'm using VGA, so that's why it looks a little blurry. Damn, that shit, that's easy as fuck. <laughs> They're pretty good monitors for starting out, so. What is that? All right, so the next thing it is my microphone. Now you guys already know what microphone I have if you guys watch my videos because you see it when I, you know, stream or I accidentally have it in the webcam when I put out videos. But it's a Blue Yeti. It's a hundred and something dollars. This is a perfect upgrade microphone if, say, you use your headset microphone to record videos or an iPhone to record your voice or whatever. This is a big good upgrade and i will be using this web this uh, microphone until it like like breaks and then that's when i upgrade to the studio microphone but other than that good microphone I'm telling you brodies next thing is the mount setup for the boom mic it is like around 20 to 30 dollars i forgot but it's on amazon it's such a boom mic stand and you should find it now this is pretty good now you got to find something that looks like this so it can stay on because the last time i got a cheap ass boom mic stand and it did not look like this and it was just falling off every time for the people that been with me since last year and seen the amount of times my boom mic just fell off it's because it did not look like this but yeah pretty sturdy microphone and i give it like an eight out of ten just because i wish i got a bigger one <laughs> Next thing is another important thing that I gotta show to you, brodies, and that is the keyboard. This is a Red Dragon K617 keyboard. Now, I forgot what the layouts be called, but this is the one without, you know, the arrows and the number keypads or whatever. And these are red keycaps for the people that wanna know. They're not blue, they're red. But yeah, that's what it is, red keycap, whatever it's called, red something, I forgot. But I just know that they're red, and it's called the Red Dragon K617. So yeah. This was like $65, got it on sale. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good keyboard. I just like touching that. It's, it's, it's just so fun, I'm telling you. Next thing, it is the mouse. It is a Logitech mouse. Now I do not know which model this is, but my friend, coworker from uh, last year when he saw me doing YouTube and my Twitch work, not Twitch, but YouTube and live streaming and Apex and whatever, and Outlast and all the other games, Oh, I guess this is what it's called, the G502 Logitech mouse. But yeah, he gave me this mouse because he's a computer technician guy and he fixes computers, he makes, he like builds them and all that. And he has like so many of these mouses and keyboards. He's like, hey, I got a, I got a mouse for you, you want it? I'm like, sure, bro. And I really appreciate that. Alejandro, I love you, man. Thank you. Next thing are my two headsets. Now the headset that I use when I play FPS games or games that I want to try hard in are these Sony bass booted, um, earbuds that i got from best buy these shit cost 50 dollars <laughs> but other than that this thing is a 10 out of 10 for me the only thing i got complaints is that when you have earbuds you can't mute yourself the only way you can mute is by you know holding this little play pause button thing and that's the only way to mute yourself but the microphone sounds good i asked people how it sounds like they said it sounds good headphones are really good when you're playing call, call of duty fps games and i really appreciate that now for the games that i want to be comfortable I'm not comfortable, like, you know, immersed or whatever, or when I'm recording games, so I can, you know, flex, are my, you know, Astros. These are 2015 white Astros, and don't buy these shits. Try it! Don't, don't buy these headphones, bro, because these are expensive. They're basically a flex to show how much money you got, I guess. And they're, they're like, what is that word called? I forgot what word is that. But it's like um, aesthetic, yeah, there you go. They're basically aesthetic because if you don't buy the mix amp, amp that goes with it, which is another 200 or $180 with it, so this thing is like in total of 300 something, then it doesn't sound as good at all. Now, the only way that I make these sound really loud and good 
is when I plug it up to my Blue Yeti and then, you know, it has this volume right here and these just be loud as fuck when I turn this to max volume. So when I play games, so when you see me playing Outlast, Minecraft, or any game that I don't have to pay attention to, I plug it in right here, open my Elgato thing so it can connect to my Xbox and I just hear everything pretty well. Or if I'm, I'm just playing on my computer, I just plug it in the microphone and bam. But don't get these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> just don't if you don't have the money for it. They're not worth the money. All right, next thing it is the mouse pad. Now I'm gonna go pretty quick with these last things right here, but this mouse pad, Demon Slayer, Tanjiro, Nezuko. Oh my God, bro. This is the best mouse pad I ever had. Now, if you want this mouse pad, just go to Amazon, search up Demon Slayer mouse pad for desk, you know, you know, desktop, whatever, full desk, and you'll find it. It was a pretty good price too. I forgot how much it was, but yeah, if you want it, there you go. Look how beautiful she is. And then these right here, I got these from McDonald's. I currently work there. Yes, I work at McDonald's, but they pay really fucking high. And the time be going fast. I'm glad I'm working back there again. But yeah, I was like, I got to cop when these drop for the McDonald's toys. Then the next thing right here is the Nezuko right here. Look how beautiful this thing is. I got this on Amazon too. Just, just search up Nezuko figurine and there you go. And then here's another Demon Slayer figurine. This looks fucking fire and it wasn't even that much money. Like I was so glad when I got this shit. Let, just look how pretty this motherfucker is. God. Next, it is my PC. Now, as you guys know, for the day ones out there, you know this is pre-built, but I finally upgraded it, and here's my thoughts on this pre-built. Now, this is an iBuy Power PC from Best Buy. This was like um, 600 something dollars. The only reason why I got pre-built for two reasons is because this was 2020, and you know, the fucking graphic cards, GPUs or whatever was in a shortage. And then another thing was, I did not want to stress on the fact if I built my PC right, and like, you know, I didn't want to stress out, but this was a pretty good thing because I got to make sure if you get a pre-built, make sure you get an upgradable pre-built so you can put, you know, different uh, RAM sticks. You can change the fans. You can change, you know, the, the processor and do whatever you want because if you get a pre-built that doesn't say non, doesn't say upgradable, then you're fucked. But yeah, this is a 32 gigabyte RAM. Uh, each stick is 16 gigabytes. So yeah, that's what it is right there. The first one, 16, second one, 16 equals to 32. Now, you know, you don't need 32. You only need at least 16 for it. You're, you know, you're set up to be cool, but I'm like, nah. Let's get that 32. Now, the only problems I had with this PC was the fans, because you know, as you know, the fans always have, you know, lights, and they just died out on like the third week of me having it. I'm so pissed. That's why you see this cheap ass LED strip. But tell, I'm telling you, it looks, it looks way better with the strip. But it could look even better if the fans are on. But other than that, I give this PC a seven, 6.5 out of 10 without the upgrades. And if you're just using it to edit in it, cause this is the, what I got the PC for just to edit. And then it's an 8.5 out of 10 once you upgrade it. So pretty good investment. Ring light, got this on Amazon cheap, but this ring light is not that good. I'm about to give me some new lights. As you can see, my light is broken right here. <laughs> but yeah, I need to hurry up and give me some lights there fucking expensive we got my posters right here naruto shippuden naruto shippuden my favorite posters and then we got a third one right here attack on titan but yeah those are my posters here's my xbox series controller now i know you guys are <laughs> this is a goofy ass colorway but this is the only one they had i break so many of my controllers because of the stick drift or whatever i don't know what be going on but i have like a warranty on them so every time they break i just pay 15 dollars for a new one and I'm really hoping this will break so I can give me a red, blue, or white controller. But I think I'm gonna just buy me another controller because I do need one more. Next is my original Xbox from 2014. Crazy that it's still running fast and it's still running good. The only problems I've been having with it was the fucking power adapter. Now this is my third one. The first one broke and the second one just broke last month. And this one was like $50 at GameStop. I don't know why, but it says it has like a fan in it that cools it down all the time and that's why it's 50 dollars and that was the only power adapter that they have but yeah good xbox still downloading fast still playing fast no problems just a power adapter here's my hard drive seat geek right here this this was a two dare bruh speak Nick. this was a two terabyte uh, hard drive i saw a lot of reviews saying that it wasn't that good but it's been working for me so if you need a hard drive just search up ce for microsoft xbox 
PlayStation, and boom, you find it. Then my two desks right here, I got these two desks from Amazon. I don't know the length. I don't know how much it was. My mom got it for me. She was like, you need some desks. I got you, and she got me my desk. So I appreciate that. And I have to move my monitors for this, but this is what I record my Xbox game. So when I'm playing Outlast or when I'm playing Minecraft or whatever that you guys seeing, this is what I use to record. Now the Minecraft series, I'm using OPS, but I'm just giving you an example. It is an HD 60S. Elgato. It costs 170 or 80 dollars. Sometimes you might get it on sale for 160 at Best Buy. But yeah, these things are hard to find because they're selling out for some reason. I think they're back in stock, and it's 180 dollars. And this is the one that does 1080p 60 frames for Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or whatever. This is the only way you're gonna record game chat and record your game. So you just connect it to your computer, your computer, your Xbox with the HDMI. You connect the HDMI to the Elgato right there, connect that little USB cord to the PC, and then you connect the other HDMI to one of these monitors and you're in business. And now the last thing is... What's that? And now the last thing, it is my chair. My beautiful, cheap ass chair. This shit was not cheap though. It was like $50, $60. Amazon, like always. The only downside about this uh, chair is that you cannot eat or do nothing on this chair because look at that. And there's dog fur all underneath it. It pisses me off. I'm gonna get a new chair and make sure there's no chairs that look like this with this thing on it. But other than that, it's a comfortable chair. It supports my back a little bit, not as good. The only thing I wish is that I had a headrest right here. But other than that, if you're just looking for a cheap office chair, this is your best bet. It's on Amazon, got metal wheels. I'm gonna change the wheels soon, but yeah. The best bet right here, I give this shit like a seven out of 10. Now I could really care less about this outro and how the lighting looks like, but yeah, this is my gaming setup tour. Yep, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is, I, I'm just crying because as I was doing this, I'm like, that's crazy that after a whole year, everything changed and everything is upgradable. The microphone, keyboard, mouse, monitors, it's just crazy and everything just looks dope and I'm just so excited how it looks like. The only thing that I'm gonna change in the future is new monitors, both of them are gonna be 144. Get the new Xbox, get a new Xbox soon. And then maybe white, a white desk. But I don't know, these desks are pretty new and they're black and they're cool. So that's why I'm not gonna do nothing extra. The main things on my mind is the monitors and the Xbox. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is gonna be long. It's probably gonna be like 18 minutes. I'm gonna try to shorten it and I've been talking too much. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy my setup. I'm out of here. Make sure y'all like it real quick before I end the shit. I'm not lying. Like, like the shit. I just want 30. Can we get 30, please? Please? <laughs> I'm out of here. Perfect.